Hello, welcome to this section of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to talk about histograms, which is something I've hinted about before. Histograms is something that you'll see all throughout your statistics book. We'll be using them now until probably the end of your course. Uh, they're a graphical way to represent data. Specifically, a histogram is basically just a bar chart of, uh, that represents a frequency distribution. So if you remember back, we've already talked about frequency distributions. We had the classes, we have the frequencies, we talked about what all that meant, and that was a tabular form. Now we take that information, we put it into a bar chart, we call it a histogram. So see, statistics is full of these names that sound hard, histogram, frequency distribution. They're not hard, they're just very simple concepts we need to make sure you understand. So. In words, a histogram, histogram is a bar chart of a frequency distribution. Of a frequency distribution. Okay, so if I were going to, to uh, have a histogram of the height of trees in a field and what would I do? I'd go around, I, I have a big square plot of land, I go and I have maybe a hundred trees or something in it and I go and I measure the height of all of those trees. Now I could give you that list of information, I could give you a listing of a hundred or two hundred trees, that would be useful but it would be more useful to create a frequency distribution um, which we've already talked about, which is a tabular arrangement of classes and then the number of trees that fit into each of those buckets. So we could do that in tabular form, but perhaps even better is if we could represent it in graphical form and we call that a histogram. So it's just a bar chart of the frequency distribution that we've already talked about in the previous section. So for instance, we would create something that looks like this. So we'd have, you know, our two lines right here and this would be uh, the height in feet of the tree. Now you could use meters or whatever, it doesn't matter, but in this case we're going to use feet. And this could be, this will be, the frequency, which would be the number of trees uh, there. And I have to have some kind of scale here, so I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And I'll label it 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, so let's say that between 60 and 65, right, I got something like three trees I measured being in this range, okay? And between 65 and let's say 70, I had four trees, so that would be that. Between 70 and 75, I had, let's say, eight trees, straight up to eight, straight over, straight down, and this is supposed to be right at 75, and then going on from 75 to 80, let's say I had five, so here's between four and six is five, so this is about five right here, and then from 80 uh, to 85, let's see here, something like that, 80 to 85, oh, let's say it's something like, you know, down here, and then from 85 to 90, you know, it's just like one tree. Because it's pretty rare to have a tree that tall. Okay, so this is a histogram, all right? So it is representing the height of the trees in the field, but